Hey, my name is Dirk Verbuuren. Welcome back to my blog. Today I'm going to show you how I tune a snare drum. And I'm super stoked because I just got this brand new snare in from Tama. It's a SLP or Sound Lab project. Not in the stores yet, but coming out soon. Um, this one is a 5.5 by 14 vintage steel, nickel plated, and it sounds awesome. I've been trying it with the Evans Power Sender batter head and the Hazy 300 resonant head and it just sounds killer. I'm super stoked about it. And there's a whole bunch of really cool snares in the SLP series. So check them out and um, let's see how we tune it. Um, ideally, if this is the first time you're gonna be tuning your snare drum, you wanna remove the batter head completely and tune the resonant head at the bottom first. Um, I've already done that on this snare because it works the same way for both heads. So I'm gonna start with the batter head and I'm gonna show you the tuning order. I start with a tension bolt and then turn the one across then I move two over turn the one across move two over and so forth so if you follow the numbers that way four or five you get back to one on the opposite side and that's a good way to make a balanced tuning so once our batter head is on with the tension bolts tightened lightly the first thing we want to do is release the snare strainer and then we're going to follow the order that I showed you previously for the tuning. So we're going to tap by each tension bolt and tighten them and knowing that the tension bolts that are across from each other react to each other. So we're going to do one until they sound sort of similarly. Now we're moving on to two and just tighten them like by half turns progressively and move on to three which is a little bit lower. to four etc one little trick that can really help when you're doing this is pushing your finger in the center of the head not too hard but just to remove some of the overtones so that you can really compare the sound on each tension bolt just kind of have to mess with it. It can take a while sometimes until you get it right. So once all the tension bolts have a consistent sound by them, the ringing that's very similar and not too wavy then we should be more or less good and we can put on the strainer and see the result so that's how I tune a snare drum and if you have any questions about this feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to answer it um, again this is the Tama SLP a brand new series uh, premiering at NAM 2012 I'll be eagerly promoting it on my upcoming drum clinic tour, which starts this February in Europe. Cheers!